Not you as well. Tell me it ain't you as well, hey, you hey, Slavic hey. fuck! What are you talking about? Speak, you Balkan piece of shit! I'm done with you. Done with everyone. I'll go, but I ain't going quiet, Mr. Pegorino, I don't know what you're talking about. I came as quickly as I could. Fucking Anthony! What about Anthony? He was wearing a fucking wire! <sighs> that is a problem. My personal bodyguard wearing a wire! I raised that kid like he was my own. I beat him like he was my own son. When my son killed himself, Anthony became my son. Now it is. The world is a cunt. Where is Anthony? Uh, I heard he's wearing a wire. So I freak out. I call him up. He's such a moron, he leaves his cell phone on. So we speak. After he's gone states, of course. I mean... Jesus, what a chump. <laughs> he freaks out on the phone, and I put the fear of God in him. I think maybe I've talked him out of it. Then, he has a goddamn heart attack on the phone. I'm thinking problem solved. He's dying right in front of my ears. But the asshole lived, and now he's in the Leftwood Hospital under heavy guard. Okay, okay. Of course, he's got you on the fucking tape, too. Of course. So you'll do this for me. So you want me to talk to him? I want you to whack him. And after that, I want you to kill all the other rats I surround myself okay. with. Okay, okay. Don't worry. <sighs> You're not like the other surgeons here. You don't have that, you know, God complex thingy. I guess it's my bedside manner. John, you're terrible. Anyone flatlines from here in, it's someone else's problem. Have a good night, Dr. Rosen. Ugly city, I guess.
I don't think you will be seeing Anthony on the witness stand. I better not be seeing you up there neither. Or anybody else I know for that matter. This fucking 